Hey guys, what's up? It's me, the Centipede. I'm back with another video. So today, uh, we're gonna be doing another tower review. It's time for the bomb tower. So I guess I said today, but it's really my second video today. Um, but we're gonna be doing the bomb tower. It's the third, the third primary tower. So the top path will be bigger bombs, heavy bombs, really big bombs, balloon impact and Bloom Crush. So I'm gonna go into each one later on, but first we'll start off with a zero zero bomb tower. And uh, we'll just send out some blues. So it's important to note that, uh, all right, never mind, it's not important to note anything, but it'll deal with these quite easily. It'll deal with greens easily. The bomb tower is a more expensive tower, so uh, you're gonna be paying more, but it's gonna be worth more in the early game. So I'm going to have come some yellows and pinks. It's not doing much, but greens, no problem. And uh, now we'll take the first path, bigger bombs, shoots larger bombs, and they have a larger blast area and more popping power. So now if we send about a zero spacing of greens, then uh, it's going to do it a lot better because it has at least 10 popping power. Let's see if we put like a 12, will that... Like 20. Nope, it has 20 popping power. 100. Yeah. Alright, so there's no way it has 100 popping power. But, um, you know, it can, it can deal pretty well. Uh, if we send up 10 greens, again, it's a larger radius, so that'll help. I don't know how much that'll help against yellows. Yeah, that was a bad timing. I don't know how much it'll help against yellows. Um, I mean, it'll still get the job done. Pinks, it's not going to be able to handle. Now, we move along to uh, heavy bombs. This is going to take off two layers of balloons at once. So, if we just send some blues, it's going to get rid of them immediately. If we send yellows, it's going to two hit KO them. So now greens are in that awkward, and pinks, I guess, too, are in that awkward state of, like, it depends on the amount of hits. If we send some whites out, yeah, they're gonna get passed, but only gonna leak like twelve lives. Right, of course, it still cannot pop black balloons. That's just a regular bomb tower. Also, can't pop zebras, but it can pop rainbows down into uh, black and white, and it can pop pop the white from there. Now, uh, really big bombs. What we're gonna have here? Huge bombs blow up balloons in a large area. So try to go up against pinks you can see that the radius is significantly larger and has no problem against pinks let's try whites again not an issue even with whites um lead balloons it's going to completely get rid of the black layer so it's not going to have much of a problem against leads if we bring the station the space the spacing down to zero it still should have no problem with the leads But uh, again, let's see. Purples is going to do fine with purples. It'll leak six lives, which is not much. Ceramics, it doesn't do much da uh, damage to the layer, but it'll reduce some down to black and white, which is somewhat effective. I mean, it's not really big bombs. It's not a very cost-effective upgrade. I'll, I'll say that. Balloon impact now. Uh, Explosions become so violent, balloons are stunned for a short time after they're hit, or when they're hit. So for something like ceramics, this would help now, because it'll give us more time to hit them, and uh, now we can actually take them down. So sure, it'll leak some lives, but it does pretty well. It'll leak a few, actually those are still ceramic layers. It's not at the point where it can yet stun a Moab, so it's not going to be able to do anything against a Moab. So again, fourth tier usually should be somewhat effective against a Moab. This one is not. Except if we send out a hundred, say, rainbows, it's going to get overwhelmed. But it's going gonna, it's gonna to reduce it down to several of them. Say if we 
send out 100 pinks, it's still going to get overrun, cause just, but that's just because of the sheer amount. Now, Balloon Crush is a very, very expensive upgrade. So, if we send out some pinks, it's going to destroy them, except it's pretty close. I mean, sending out some leads, it's going to one-hit KO these leads. But massive damage can stun the Moab class balloons. So, this is where it becomes, like you saw, it destroyed those ceramics. If we send out our leads, again, zero... Now this is just Pierce. Now we're going to see how much it can do against some ceramics. And it's going to leak a lot of lives. But if we send it up against one Moab. I mean, it is a fifth tier tower. So if it can't take down a Moab, then there's a problem there. But it's just going to keep on stunning it. And it's going to take a long, long time. I tried to... I was experimenting earlier with like a ZOMG. It took several... It's taking five minutes to get through the ZOMG layer, so I just gave up because I don't have that kind of patience. It's going to take a very long time, but you get the gist of it. I mean, it's going to it's going to it's going to destroy the balloons quickly. It is called the balloon crush, for that matter. So the first path is just not meant for a balloon popping power. Over the second path, the first path is meant for balloon popping power. Second path, we're going to have uh, Moab popping power. So if we just have faster reload, it's going to shoot faster, which of course will help. Um, it's not significant, but it does the job. I mean, it'll deal with the yellows. Send out greens, it'll be okay. But the missile launcher, this is a really old upgrade back from Balloons Tower Defense 3 days. I Before then, actually. But I loved this upgrade back in the day. But uh, it shoots fast. I mean, I have no complaints about this upgrade. It'll handle the pinks pretty well. Yellow should be no issue because it can shoot really fast. And that's... So I get here. Now, what the important thing is about this path, I guess a Moab, one missile... Launcher is not going to do much. I don't even think it'll cause any damage against it. It'll cause some, if any. Yeah. So now, if we get up a Moab Mauler, it's going to start causing more damage to the Moab layer. And it'll even break it down to ceramics. So that's the. This is an old. Does more damage to Moab class balloons and ceramics. So if we send out one ceramic, it's going to be able to do more damage to that. So if you can't take it down, and it cannot pop black balloons. Now to the Moab Assassin. This introduces our first ability here for the Moab Mauler. It doesn't the power doesn't increase much from the Moab Mauler itself. However, it does come with the ability. So if we'll send down a Moab right here, it'll one hit KO it. Uh, the the layer at least. Massive damage to Moab class balloons. So here, if we send out a BFB, it should be able to do. A little bit more. And uh, boom. And it gets rid of the uh, the entire BFP layer. So that's not bad. It's not great. But the next ability. 25,000 for a 5th tier. So it's about average price. But it's quite powerful. So if you see. We'll take this BFB. It's just a random BFB. Boring. Okay. But also keep in mind. It's balloon pop popping power has now increased. We send out a ZOMG. It'll take it down to BFB immediately, which is really, really important. We see here six times damage with a shorter cooldown. This is a really effective ability. So you can see that cooldown is quickly refreshing. We'll have them target strong. And then it's going to be able to do a lot of damage. So it's a very interesting th middle path. Now we're going to go to the bottom path, which is my favorite. Oh, that's the wrong tower. So we're going to go extra range. 
extra range. It's one of those upgrades that, regardless of the tower, it's not going to do much. But um, the, uh, the later upgrades on this path are very helpful, like frag bombs. Another old upgrade, it sends out fragments that really help because it expands the pierce. But the cluster bombs, eight hundred dollars, eight hundred coins. This is a really good upgrade because it sends out its fragments, but it's explosions. So lead balloons, it's not going to do anything. But that's why you gotta, if you put it together with this this top uh, path, it's going to be able to do something. Actually, no, in zebras it will. No, it won't. Leads. There we go. It's going to easily take down the leads. And uh, it'll deal pretty well with ceramics. But again, it just still popping black balloons is a problem. You can solve it with a village, but... So that's the cluster bombs. Another... It's not going to do much against... One mole out, probably. It is only a third tier tower to begin with. But it'll do some damage. This bottom path is more for balloon popping power. The middle, if you're looking for Moab popping power, the bottom path is where you want to go. So now if we send out a hundred, I don't know, rainbows, and um, just to enhance it, we'll give this the ability to pop anything. So just get an O3 of village up, and we'll send out some ceramics. And this recursive cluster is going to do a lot of damage. It's still going to get heavily overrun, but as you can see, it's doing a lot of damage. If we send out some rainbows, it's going to do a good deal of damage. I mean, yeah. It's a, the, it does, it activates every third shot, I think. Let's see. Every second shot. Okay, so that's that's still effective. Um, now the bomb blitz. Now, this is similar power uh, to the uh, recursive cluster. However, if you lose a life, oh no, we'll send out like here. We'll send out. We'll clear that. We'll send out nine hundred ninety nine leads. And then we'll send out one ghost balloon. That ghost balloon is going to get through. It's going to cause a lost life, and it's going to absolutely destroy this. Because that's just how the ability works. So what it is, is when a life is lost, it'll destroy everything on the screen below a BFB. So if we send out... Uh, below a ZMG. So even if we send out some BFBs... I guess it didn't work. Um, you know, it's supposed to destroy those, but uh, there it is. Yeah, okay. That's more what I was expecting. Okay, so now for actually using the bomb tower, that's really it for just the basic paths. But our early game, I find that uh, this this uh, this tower here, when using the top path, this two o three tower can be really effective in the early game. Send out a hundred reds, it's gonna do a good amount of damage. I mean, and it's very cost effective as you can see. It only sells for like two thousand bucks. So now we're gonna send out several hundred closely packed green balloons it's going to do fine now this is for some spacing but here we're going to send out zero spacing and it's still going to do fine because it's the amount of popping power it has now this is a hundred pink balloons and it's going to do it easily so you know that's probably the best early game application for it this five, this fifth tier up top, 
it's okay at the back of a the back of your um it's expensive like yeah i gotta say that but it's not bad if, if you use the the bottom path it's not bad to put at the back of your defense if you want to if say you're facing a round 63 type sort of thing you're gonna have a lot of ceramics it's gonna get overrun but if we reduce it down to like 50 this is something that you'll see like on round 63 and uh it'll deal with them i mean of course it won't deal with the black balloons but it's something that that's something that just happens with it being the bomb tower so that is of course an important limitation of the bomb tower it can pop leads but it cannot pop black balloons and that's important um other for other good applications getting up a bunch of o3os or i guess o32s also work but uh these are very good towers, 032s. For a mid game, they have a lot of Moab popping power. So when you're around like around like 60, around there, these are very helpful to have. So we'll just send out some, send out like 15 Moabs, and we'll see here that they're gonna bombard the Moabs with. A lot of power. They're not going to do much with the balloons, but that middle path is for Moab popping power. And if we upgrade one to a Moab Eliminator, one to a Moab Assassin, then uh, we'll send out maybe like a ZMG. And we'll activate... Uh, that's a lot of ZMGs. Send out a ZMG, and we're going to see that it's going to do a lot of power. And then this Moab Eliminator has ridiculous cooldown which is also very very effective as you see if you set if you set these to strong it's going to be even better um but other than that you know that's really all i have for the bomb shooter it's a pretty good tower i mean my xp 140,000 xp at the top it's a pretty good idea of how often i use it like Ice Monkey, I don't use it at all. Tax Shooter, I use it quite a bit. Glue Gunner, Sniper Monkey is one of my favorite towers, so it's a sub. But uh, Bomb Tower is a pretty solid tower. Bomb Shooter, sorry. So that's really it. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching, and I'll, I'll see you later with another video. You probably won't get another one from me today, but yeah, that's it. All right, thanks for watching again. Please comment. I'm loving the recent comment supports uh, support. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Goodbye.